Looks like we're gonna be huffing it, guys. Hey guys, it's JJ here with you. We're back here on Thorn Farm. So, as you guys can see here, I do have the F-350 hooked up with my cattle trailer. So, my buddy Mitchell, man, that man, he loves the auctions. I'll tell you now, whenever I need to get a hold of him, he's usually at the auction. So, he calls me up last night. It's about 10 o'clock, the auction's just ending, and he goes, Dude, I just bought you a killer deal. And I said, what's that? And he goes, how about two loads of cows? I said, okay, how much? And he goes, you paid two grand for all of them. I said, well, how many is that? He says, as many as you can fit in your trailer. I said, oh, okay, for two grand? He goes, yeah. I guess the gentleman passed away and his family didn't want them anymore, so they were auctioning them off. <clears throat> so we're going to go down. We're going to pick those guys up. I know you guys probably have watched me drive to the store a billion times. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut here and I'll bring you guys back when we're at the auction. Just give me one second, guys. Alrighty, guys. So we just pulled up. We just loaded up. A little bit of a debacle Mitchell of course was never here when he's supposed to be so they didn't want to let me take him so we have six six cows loaded up here and you guys are probably thinking to me why why you said this was going to be strictly a sheep map well you know what guys on a deal like this so we have 10 cows is what we're actually going to get and we only paid two grand for them which is a really good price it was a steal of a deal I mean call me crazy but that price on cows that's really good so these were a little bit younger they're not fully matured yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise them up and we're gonna milk them for a while and sell the milk off from them hopefully they start breeding for us and we can use them for both milk and beef so that's my plan I'm gonna stick to the not owning any fields kind of deal uh, so we are in the market right now to for leasing a field I've already been in contact with Buck and Mr. Wheels. Mr. Wheels is coming off his busy season, so one of them said that they'd be more than willing to lend me their combine to get this done, so I didn't realize it was that actually that close. Looks like I've been taking the wrong route this whole time to get to the farm. Whew, bit of a muddy patch here. Really, really muddy patch. All right, so let's get these guys delivered. I think they just get dropped off right here. And I'm gonna need to find fuel. One thing Mitch Mitchell always was good for, he'd lend us, a tr lend us his truck and there was never fuel in it. We always got that thing on empty. I picked this one up, it had like 14 kilometers to empty. And of course, I lent it to Mitchell to haul his cattle, so. Let's get these guys unloaded. So we have four more that we are missing. I won't bring you guys around for that. We're actually going to leave the cattle trailer here somewhere. I'm not sure where anymore. But now that we have sheep, now that we have cows, we're going to have to start thinking about bringing stuff home. So I need to get some bales stacked up here for them. I need to really contact the bank and see what field is available for leasing. Uh, the bank usually has a couple fields where the farmers couldn't pay their bills, so they already have crop on them. So maybe we can get a good steal and uh, find one with oats or something like that on it so that we can uh, just pay to bring buck or wheels in here, get it all harvested. And then once it's harvested, come in and bale it, and that'll give us our straw and stuff for our cows. Might have to get into round baling too, or I might get into the smaller square bales so that we can. Uh... Man, did I ever cut her close! I'm at three kilometers empty. Oh, just in time, just in time. And it's not even gonna let me fill here. Really? Start her back up. Man, we're wasting. We're wasting fuel. Is it really not even gonna let me fill up here? It's not. Oh. Pretty sure it's where I filled out my tractor last time. It's just not letting me fill my truck up. Uh oh. 
Petro Station, where are you? Right there. There's another one way up the map, but I don't think I'm going to have enough fuel to get up there. Let's try turning around, see if this doesn't give us our door. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to be huffing it, guys. Last time I lend Mitchell my truck. I'll tell you now, last time I lend Mitchell my truck. Well, I'm going to go find a fuel station. I'm going to try to figure out a plan here to get these cows some food. For right now, I might just run down to the cow, to the sheep, grab that trailer, because it's still stacked with bales. I'll grab that trailer, bring that back up here with, with the grass that's on it, get that to our cows at least. That'll start them some food. But with that being said, guys, I will be right back. Well, guys, I didn't make it very far. We are Stonehenge, though. And we are out of fuel. 100% out of fuel. So let's go check out Stonehenge. I haven't really given a whole lot of thought yet. I think I'm going to bring in... I'm going to contact the bank and see if we can't buy that one of those new coon, coon mowers. They're really good. They're not the coon mowers, sorry. One of the coon square balers. And we'll go from there. But I will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're back here at the main farm. I'll tell you now, it is a long walk. Never let your Ford run out of fuel. I don't understand why it wasn't filling up, though. But here we are, just walking back down. We're going to jump into the 5M, and we're going to head back over to the sheep. And we're going to grab a stack of those bales, I think is what we're going to do. We're just going to grab the trailer. Uh, I don't like climbing in the gear shift side. So we'll come over here. Let's get this door open. And we'll jump in. For some reason it's not letting me toggle I see. I hit I see. Let's go to the mountain tractor. Now let's hit I see. Get our door closed. Let's get this bad boy fired up. Forks up off the ground just a little bit. So we're going to head back over to the sheep. We're going to hook back up to that trailer. Relock down our load and get that over here. I'm still in talks with the bank. Uh, that'll probably be in the next episode. I'll have the decision from the bank what field they're going to lease me. And the cost on that. We still got to get... Mr. Mitchell said he's going to deliver us our last four cows that we are owed. Uh, out of our... 10 cow deal for two grand. I mean, can't ask for a better price. I think real life I bought, well, I didn't buy. The guy that I worked for bought four cows that day, and we paid 2500 And our most expensive one was Big Mama, who actually did calf out. Uh, she calfed out in March, I think it was. The end of March, start of May, maybe, start of April. So she has a brand new baby calf. It's a heifer, which is a female. Uh, she's very beautiful. I have to get up there and still see her. And uh, we did buy, or he did buy some baby lambs as well. And it's lambing season. Uh, he called me up yesterday and gave me a bit of an update up there. And uh, they're in the process of uh, lambing season up there as well with his sheep. So that being said, guys, I'm going to hook up to this. I'll have to in and out kind of deals. Before I do hook up, though, I'm going to relock this load. Just so nothing happens. I'm actually pondering about selling this trailer. Unfortunately, I'm thinking about getting the PJ trailer. Which is a fifth wheel one. But I don't know. That Ford kind of has me a little upset. Leave me stranded like that. But I guess that's what Ford is, right? Fix or repair daily. I mean, there was rumor that Ford's now, every with every brand new Ford truck you purchase, you're now getting a uh, a dog with it so that you always have somebody to walk home with. But uh, this is the first time I've ever had a Ford let me down. And I don't know if it's the Ford that let me down or the fact that it wouldn't let me refuel it up at the main house. That was kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. That kind of annoyed me a little. 
I think I might try to broker a deal too on a bit of a smaller bale fork. This one's just a little too big for this farm. Like, I really like it, but it's just a little too big, especially for this tractor. So we'll see what we can do there. But for now, it's what we're going to use. It's what we have. Try not to take the ditch on that side or try not to hit the fence on the other side. We'll bring these guys down. Put this stack up by the main cow area. And then we've got to start thinking about other equipment too. We need to purchase a mix feeder. So we can get some TMR going. We need to get a baler and a wrapper. I'm not sure. I think I might try the square baler. The crone square baler. I think I might still use the big Hestons too though. I think I might do the straw and the big Hestons. Uh, straw and the big Hestons. The grass for the sheep in the big Hestons. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just going to take a drink here. Alrighty. But I think these Heston bales are going to stay. I think the only ones that I'm going to do in the small bales is uh, for silage. Instead of using the silage clamps, I think I might just do bales that way. So I'm going to cheat to unlock this. I'm just going to hit L, tap back over, or G back over the trailer, hit L to unlock it, jump out, unhook it. There we go. I'm going to unload one or two into them just to get them some food. But no, I've actually been thinking about getting the PJ trailer. It's a 40 foot PJ trailer. Uh, so we can hold a lot more bales. No lock, or there's a, same as this trailer, it has a tension straps on it. Okay. Apparently I'm only going to pick up the top one. Let's hit C so you guys can see where I'm going. So the way this works, guys, is using the bale forks like this or the bale uh, script that's this way, you cannot make mixed rations this way. So if I was to bring everything over, I believe I would still have to mix the mixed rations or use the machine to do it to make them. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't work. Uh, I can just, you know, dump silage and all that in there. I think it just gives it the raw form. So like right now, by me putting grass in, it's just going to give me grass for the cows. And then if I added straw, it'd just give me straw for bedding that way, so that I would still have to use the mix feeder uh, implements to actually make my bales. Or to make my TMR, sorry, not my bales. So we'll get... Looks like these guys were hungry, they needed two of those. I need to get back at the same time, grab that water bowser, get that filled back up and delivered to these guys so that they have water as well. Let's try taking one more over to them. One more to them and then we're good to go with these guys. And I won't bring you guys around for the water part. I'm just gonna run around and do that. Uh, about seven minutes into this segment of the recording. Looks like they're out they're full of grass anyway. And then it's gonna be a matter of where to park these. Or where I wanna actually stack these bills. I might stack them here. Not really sure yet. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna bring this tractor to go get the water bowser. I think I might use the seven iron with the water bowser. A little bit of a bigger tractor. I like the way it drives a little bit better, so. We will go for now and park this guy up. Gotta remember, we gotta clean our sheep too. They do get dirty. Let's try not to attack everything. Not park on our baler. There is kind of a glare in the back windows, but I think it's just because they're dirty. 
But we don't watch tractors here, right, guys? No, we don't. Nice, beautiful 7-iron right here. That's weird, I didn't get the... It's been too far away there. No, it must have still been too far away. Maybe open the door first. There we go. Get our walking animation. Get this big old bad boy fired up. We'll head this guy over, pick up. I wonder, will this guy let me refuel here? Yeah, I'm getting the refuel trigger for this guy. Apparently that Ford truck just doesn't like to be refueled here. Still not sure what I'm going to do. He's still just sitting up there on the road. Off to the side just a little bit, but he's still up there right where I left him in front of Stonehenge. But we'll bring this guy down, hook up to that water bowser, get that brought back up to our refill point. I haven't really looked around on the map either for the water actual water refill on here. Uh, I will have to take a look at that and see where I can find it. If there is one, if not, I mean, we do have that placeable down, so I might just continue using that. Let's get our parking brake put on here. Let's get this gate open. Climb back in our tractor. I don't remember. Put it back in gear. I'm still kind of thinking about taking the gearbox mod out. I might put drive control in. Because it's pretty much all that I'm using it for is to control uh, how I'm driving it. So it controls pretty much. Uh, I have to manually put it in reverse, manually put it in drive, that kind of deal. So what I might end up doing is just taking out the gearbox mod and putting the actual uh, drive control mod in. Which pretty much does the same thing. So just gives me a manual shifter kind of deal. Where I have to manually select forward reverse. And then I can also turn on four-wheel drive, turn off four-wheel drive, have diff lock, that kind of deal. I'm thinking about it. It's definitely not a mod you guys are going to see on our server. Uh, it messes up too much stuff in multiplayer for some reason. Uh, if you run a 360 controller, it messes with your uh, dead zones. So for that reason, Bach and Grandpa and them don't like it. Just because it does mess with your dead zones. I've never had an issue with it, and I've used it several times in different maps. But, uh, yeah. So we'll bring this back to the main farm at least. You guys can watch me do that. Make sure we close our gates behind us, because sheep are very sneaky and try to get out. Kind of wish this map would allow us to have a dog. Like, farm sim would allow us to purchase a dog kind of deal, so like a sheep dog. And, uh, you know, maybe we can get them trained up in herding and that kind of deal. I think that'd be kind of neat. Bring your dog with you, so you'd see laying down there by the brake pedal, would I, or, yeah, the brake pedal would act, or the clutch, sorry, not the brake pedal. Down there by the clutch, you would see, you know, I'd have my dog with me all the time, and kind of give you a little companion, kind of be neat. I mean, who are we trying to kid? For them to give us pigs, they took out chicken. So. I still don't understand why Giants did that. They could have left the chicken in there too. Where we still had to purchase them. Maybe not pick them up in the trailer, but still had to purchase them. I mean, I know when we buy chickens, we don't put them in our trailer. When they come in little chicks, they come in a box. Sounds kind of cruel, but it's how they come. They come in a... They're really small, so they come in a cardboard box. Obviously, there's a bunch of holes in it so that they can breathe, but not big enough so that they can escape. 
then we bring them home that way and put them in our pens. Well, that's what we did anyway. We no longer have the sheep, or yeah, we no longer have the sheep. No longer have the cow, uh, chickens up at the farm anymore. So, gotten out of all the birds except for the laying hens. It's the only ones as of right now that I know that we still have. But I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. You guys have seen me fill this up before. You've seen me deliver it to the sheep. I'm not going to make you guys watch me deliver it to the cows. So like always, guys, don't forget, comment, rate, subscribe. You guys know what to do. You guys are all amazing. And I enjoy having you guys here. If you guys like, don't forget, you know, I keep saying it. I don't know why. Hit the thumbs up button. It means a lot. With that being said, guys, have a good one.